In quantum theory, every measurable quantity is associated with an operator and is called an observable. Let's look at the most important observables and their operators. The position operator is given by the symbol x hat. It's a, simply, a simple multiplicative operator, x times. If there are more than one dimension, we have operators for the other coordinates as well. The momentum operator is indicated by p x hat. The momentum along x equals to h bar over i d dx. There are similar expressions for the components along y and z. The potential energy is represented by the operator v hat and is a simple multiplication with the potential energy function v. The kinetic energy is represented by t hat and it's equal to the momentum operator squared over 2m. For one dimension this is equal to minus h bar squared over 2m times d squared over dx squared. In three dimensions, it's a little more complicated. It's minus h bar squared over 2m times the sum of the second derivatives, d squared dx squared plus d squared dy squared plus d squared dz squared. This latter expression is often written as del square or nabla, uh, nabla square operator. And then the kinetic energy operator looks like minus h bar squared over 2m times del squared. The total energy operator is denoted by h. It's called the Hamiltonian. It's equal to the sum of the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. Lastly, there is angular momentum. The symbol for the component around the z-axis is denoted lowercase l subscript z with a hat and is given by x p y minus y p x. In explicit forms, that's equal to h bar over i times x d dy minus y d dx. The components around the x and the y axis have analogous expressions. For time, there is no operator. Since time is not a measurable quantity, you can't measure the time of an object. All these operators for observables belong to a mathematical class called Hermitian operators. For a Hermitian operator A, we have the following property. The integral of psi star times A operating on psi dx is equal to the integral of a operating on psi all of that star times psi dx. The most important property of Hermitian operators is that they have real eigenvalues. This makes intuitive sense since all the dynamic quantities like position, momentum and energies are real numbers and are best represented by real numbers.